Hello, my name is David Parra, and I want to welcome you to this presentation of the ABCDs of Medicare. Sooner or later, we will either need the Medicare program or meet someone that needs help understanding the program. Therefore, it's always a good idea to learn as much as we can about Medicare. In this presentation, we will offer an introduction to Medicare. We will talk about each of the different parts in Medicare. We will talk about the two Medicare options and provide other information and resources. The Medicare program was signed into law on July 30th, 1965 by President Lyndon B. Johnson. Medicare is a federal health insurance program for people who are age 65 or older, for people under 65 with certain disabilities, and for people of any age with end-stage renal disease, which is permanent kidney failure that requires dialysis or a kidney transplant. The Medicare program is administered by the federal government through the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services known as CMS. Medicare has four parts. When we consider our health care needs involve three areas, hospitals, doctors, and medications. And the different parts in Medicare address these needs. Part A offers hospital insurance, Part B offers medical insurance, and Part D offers prescription drug insurance. You may wonder why I skipped Part C. Part C refers to an option in Medicare called Medicare Advantage, which is one of the two options for how people receive their Medicare coverage. We will cover Part C in more detail in the section about the two Medicare options. Let us now talk about each of these parts in more detail. As we said, one of our medical needs involve hospitals, and Medicare Part A covers hospital expenses. Almost all people 65 and over are automatically eligible for Medicare Part A if they are eligible for Social Security and or railroad retirement benefits which means that they or their spouses already paid for Part A through payroll taxes during their working life. Medicare Part A helps cover inpatient hospital care and other services, including some skilled nursing facility care, hospice, and home health care services. Now let's talk about Part B. Part B provides medical coverage, that is, services offered by doctors. Almost all people 65 and over are automatically eligible for Medicare Part B if they are eligible for Social Security and or railroad retirement benefits. Medicare Part B covers physicians' services, outpatient hospital services, certain home health services, medical equipment, rehabilitation therapy, laboratory tests, x-rays, mental health services, and some preventive services to help maintain your health and detect problems early when they are at a more treatable stage. We have seen that Part A offers hospital insurance, Part B offers medical insurance, and now we come to Part D, which offers prescription drug insurance. Part D is offered to everyone with Medicare. Prescription drug coverage is offered by private insurance companies approved by Medicare. The Part D plans help cover the cost of prescription drugs. 
Each Medicare prescription drug plan has a list of covered drugs. This is often referred to as a formulary. The list includes both brand name and generic drugs. Many Medicare drug plans place drugs into different tiers on their formularies. Drugs in each tier have a different cost. For example, a drug in a lower tier will generally cost you less than a drug in a higher tier. In most cases, plans do not cover drugs that are not on the plan's list or formulary. Medicare Part D also does not cover over-the-counter medications. Here's an important fact. Medicare does not cover everything, both in terms of services and in terms of costs. For example, in terms of services, Medicare does not cover dental care, in most cases, or long-term care, such as an extended stay in a nursing home. In terms of cost, Medicare recipients are responsible for paying for the costs that are not covered by Medicare. These costs could include monthly premiums, deductibles, co-payments, and or co-insurance. Let us take a minute to briefly define these terms. A premium is the monthly amount we pay to our insurance company for the care they provide. A deductible is a set amount we must pay before coverage begins to pay its share. Copayment refers to the amount we pay for medical service, like a doctor's visit or for prescriptions. Coinsurance is the amount you may be required to pay for services after you pay the deductibles. The implication here is that the insurance plan does not cover 100% of the cost for services. Now, let us see how these out-of-pocket payments relate to each of the Medicare parts. Part A has no monthly premium for most persons because they paid Medicare taxes while they were working. Those who have less than 10 years of Medicare-covered employment and enroll in Part A, they do need to pay a monthly premium. As to deductibles, Part A works as follows. There is a deductible of $1,132 in 2011 for inpatient cost for the first 60 days of hospitalization. After you have satisfied your deductible, you have no copayments for days 1 through 60. For days 61 to 90 of hospital stay, you will need to pay a copayment of $283 per day. And for days 91 to 150, your copayment will be of $566 per day. Part A has no coinsurance. As to Part B, Part B has a monthly premium in 2011 of $96.40. Medicare law prevents raising Part B premiums for people on Social Security who have not had their Social Security benefits increased which has been the case for the last couple of years. For people who are new to Medicare, however, in 2011, the standard Medicare Part B premium will be $115.40. Beginning in 2010, people with higher incomes, individuals earning more than $85,000 a year, and couples earning more than $170,000 a year, started paying premiums based on their income. These income levels also apply to Part D. 
Part B also has an annual deductible of $162 in 2011. It also has a copayment, which generally ranges from $5 to $20. Part B has a 20% coinsurance, which is very high. This means that Medicare only covers 80% of the medical cost and that the individual is responsible for the remainder 20%. This high coinsurance is addressed by Medicare recipients in various ways. We will talk about this in the two Medicare options section later on in this presentation. Now let's talk about the out-of-pockets in Medicare Part D. Part D has a monthly premium that varies from plan to plan, a deductible of around $300, a copayment that varies from plan to plan, and a coinsurance that changes from 25% to 100% to 5%. Let's explain in more detail. Part D plans offer prescription drug coverage in three stages, which are triggered by beneficiaries' out-of-pocket expenses. From $0 to 2840 we have the initial coverage stage. From 2840 to 4550 we have the no coverage stage. And from 4550 and over, we have the catastrophic coverage stage. For 2011, Standard Medicare Part D plans includes a monthly premium, which varies from plan to plan. As with Part B, premiums for Part D are higher for individuals earning more than $85,000 a year and for couples earning more than $170,000 a year. Part D also has a deductible, which averages $300 a year depending on the plan. Part D also has co-payments, which also vary from plan to plan. As to coinsurance, Plan D does have coinsurance. After meeting the deductible of $300, you start paying a coinsurance of 25% of the cost of covered Part D prescription drugs up to your initial coverage limit, which is 2840 in 2011. After that, you enter the no coverage stage commonly referred to as the donut hole, and your coinsurance is raised to 100% of the cost of your medications. When your total out-of-pocket expenses for drugs reaches 4550 you reach what is called the catastrophic coverage stage. At that juncture, your coinsurance decreases to 5% of your prescription drug cost. You pay 5% and your plan pays 95%. Just to clarify, your out-of-pocket costs include your deductible, co-payments, and co-insurance, but not your premiums. With each year starts a new cycle. AARP offers an online tool called AARP's Donut Hole Calculator, which helps you find out if or when you will hit the coverage gap and also to find recommendations for less expensive drugs. When you click on the Donut Hole Calculator, you just enter your zip code and follow the steps. It's easy to use and points you to ways to save right now on your drug costs. It's at www.aarp.org forward slash donut hole. 
Now that we have covered the basic parts of Medicare, the services they cover, as well as the out-of-pocket expenses for the beneficiary, we need to understand that these parts are offered to recipients in two Medicare choices. One is what we could refer to as the original or traditional Medicare, and the other, Medicare Advantage, which is the Part C that we skipped earlier in this presentation. Let's go over each option in more detail. Original Medicare is a fee-for-service health plan and consists of both Parts A and B. People with Original Medicare can go to any doctor, hospital, or other health provider who accepts Medicare. As to prescription drugs, if you are in Original Medicare and you want to get prescription drug coverage, you must choose and join a Part D prescription drug plan. These plans must be Medicare approved. So with Original Medicare, you get Parts A, B, and D. Now, since Medicare does not cover all healthcare costs, some people in Original Medicare elect to purchase a Medicare Supplemental Insurance, sometimes referred to as Medigap. Medigap is private health insurance that helps pay for healthcare services that Original Medicare does not cover, such as deductibles, copayments, and co-insurance, which in Part B is 20% of the costs. Medigap is only available to people with original Medicare. It does not work as a supplement to Medicare Advantage plans. Insurance companies in most states can offer up to 11 standard Medigap plans. Each one offers a different set of benefits fills different gaps in coverage, and varies in price. All Medigap policies must cover hospital deductibles for Medicare cover hospital states in Part A, Medicare coinsurance on your doctor's bill, and all other Medicare Part B services, and also the first three pints of blood. People with limited income and resources are eligible for help with paying for their Part D monthly premiums, annual deductibles, and prescription copayments. If you currently have Medicare Part D, you may qualify for extra help if you have a monthly income of less than $1,354 per month for a single person or less than $1,821 per month for a married couple living together. And also, if you have resources and assets, that is savings accounts and investments, that are less than $12,640 for a single person, or $25,260 or less for a married couple living together. Please note that income and asset limits may change each year. Another way some Medicare recipients cover their out-of-pocket costs is through Medicaid. For those who qualify, normally referred to as dual eligibles, Medicaid serves as a supplemental insurance. Medicare is the primary insurance and Medicaid covers the out-of-pockets not cover in Medicare. As we know, Medicaid in our state of Arizona is known as AXIS. Now we come to the second option, Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage is actually Part C in the Medicare program. This option is an alternative to original Medicare. Medicare Advantage plans are offered by private health insurance companies which are approved by Medicare. These plans are known as HMOs, Health Maintenance Organizations. All Medicare Advantage plans 
must include part A and part B. And in most cases, they will include prescription drug coverage, that is, part D. Extra benefits, for example, dental care, hearing and vision exams, depending on the plan you select, are usually offered by Medicare Advantage plans. It is important to point out that Medicare Advantage does not have a co-insurance, which means that the 20% coinsurance for Part B in original Medicare is not applicable to Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage plans are available in most parts of the United States but you must live in the plant's area to receive services. You must find and choose from the plants available in your area and sign up directly with the insurance company. Medicare Advantage plans pay for the same healthcare services as original Medicare, but they also might pay for additional healthcare services such as vision, hearing, and dental. In most Medicare Advantage plans, you can only go to doctors, specialists, and hospitals on the plan's provider list, unlike original Medicare, where you can go to any provider that accepts Medicare. If you seek services outside the plan's network of providers, you will likely have to pay more. In Medicare Advantage plans, there are out-of-pocket costs. They will vary. You will continue to pay the Part B premium as in original Medicare. However, some plans may require that you pay an additional monthly premium. Other out-of-pockets may include deductibles, co-payments, and co-insurance. Remember, all of these amounts are determined by the private insurance company that runs the Medicare Advantage plan. So costs will vary depending on each plan. Make sure you understand how Medicare Advantage plans work before joining. Before we provide you with resources for additional information, it is important to know that people can start the Medicare enrollment process three months before their 65th birthday. In most cases, the process is started by the individual. However, people who are receiving Social Security benefits prior to their 65th birthday will be sent information about Medicare enrollment automatically. This is very important. Another important piece of information is that Medicare recipients are able to change their Medicare choices once a year during what is called the open enrollment period. This is a good opportunity to review choices and make changes if so choose. This presentation does not cover every Medicare detail and does not address every case. For more information, we provide the following resources. If you have a specific question about your Medicare benefits or your plan, the place to go is the website www.medicare.gov or you can call Medicare directly at 1-800-633 four two two seven if you still have questions about the choices of plans you can also visit the website of the state health insurance assistance program known as ship the website at www.shiptalk.org lets you look for a counselor in your county additionally here are more resources where you can go for more information on Medicare or how Medicare works with other insurance coverage. 
feel free to stop the video if you need to write down the information. We also encourage you to use the educational articles and resources that AARP has on the basics of Medicare to join active online communities on insurance and Medicare go to www.aarp.org forward slash health forward slash insurance. AARP also offers a free interactive tool that helps you find expert advice and helpful information on Medicare. It was my pleasure offering this presentation